My next topic is uh, management of uh, terrorism, current concept. Uh, uh, so we all know terrorism surgery has been performed for more than uh, 3,000 years so from the days of uh, Tsushita. And we have uh, uh, more than 60 surgical procedures uh, described uh, for management of terrorism. However, uh, we are not sure which uh, uh, surgical technique uh, is the technique of choice for a particular type of uh, terrorism. Uh, the chief goal of uh, this terrorism surgery should be uh, the prevention of uh, recurrence and the uh, surgery should create a limbal barrier so that there is no conjunctivalization of the cornea with uh, minimal or no complications uh, and uh, it should be cosmetically acceptable to both the patient as well as to the surgeon. So in order to achieve this uh, goal, uh, we should remove all the uh, reactive fibrovascular tissue, eradication of all mutant terrigen cells, restoration of uh, smooth surface, uh, which is easy to re-epithelialization, uh, and uh, restoration of normal limbal barrier. So terrigen uh, uh, surgery, uh, actually uh, ocular surface transplantation procedures uh, have been found to be very effective in the management of uh, terrigen uh, and uh, 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 surface transplantation and its modifications like conjunctival autografting, conjunctival uh, limbal autografting, conjunctival tissue graft from the terrigen itself and amniotic membrane transplantation have been found to be very effective in the management of uh, terrigen. Coming to primary terrigen, we have various options that are available uh, for us and uh, conjunctal autografting has been the gold standard in the management of it. Uh, uh, just uh, a small uh, video, I think uh, uh, most of us are following the same technique. I usually inject uh, uh, lignocaine subconjunctively and uh, so it helps actually the patient can cooperate uh, for the surgery. Uh, and the uh, terrigen head is averged and uh, the uh, fibrovascular terrigen tissue is uh, excised. Uh, we usually aim for uh, 3 millimeters uh, uh, clearance from the limbal margin that will create almost 5 millimeters of uh, uh, bare sclera uh, roughly because of the elastic recoiling of the conjunctiva and take a graft from the superior or superior temporal bulbar conjunctiva and uh, usually inject uh, lignocaine subconjunctively uh, to separate conjunctiva from the underlying tenons and take a thin graft. Uh, and uh, uh, place it uh, <coughs> on the base clear bit. Either glue it or uh, suture it. And uh, so amniotic membrane uh, has been tried uh, and uh, many surgeons are using it uh, for uh, management of primary terrigen uh, and it's been found to be effective in the management of primary terrigen. Uh, it is as good as uh, conjunctival autografting. If uh, amniotic membrane is available, we can use the preserved amniotic membrane. Uh, and uh, there was a study which compared conjunctival autografting uh, uh, with amniotic membrane transplantation. It was found that uh, for primary terrigen, uh, uh, both work uh, well, but uh, for recurrent terrigen, uh, conjunctival autografting is uh, efficient, but uh, amniotic membrane alone is not sufficient. And uh, if the uh, conjunctiva, superior bulb or conjunctiva is not available, uh, so we can, uh, in case of a patient having a glaucoma filtering blab or a glaucoma suspects so in whom the superior bulbar conjunctiva may be needed for future filtering surgery or a patient with a double head terrigium where uh, you have a large vascular defect on either side. So your superior bulbar conjunctiva may not be sufficient to cover the entire uh, vascular defect. In such cases, uh, we can take graft from the terrigium tissue itself, conjunctive tissue from the terrigium. Uh, uh, I've been trying this uh, procedure for the last 7-8 years uh, with good results. Uh, so even though it is little difficult to obtain a uh, graft from the terrigium tissue, but uh, it can be taken. It is actually thick compared to the normal conjunctiva. It may be around 8 to 12 layers of uh, thickness uh, compared to the 4 to 5 layers of uh, normal conjunctiva thickness and can be placed on the uh, base clear bed and uh, either sutured or uh, glued 
and uh, we have published this uh, particular technique in IJO uh, in 2018. Uh, the results were uh, uh, very good uh, uh, with the, the recurrence rate of 4% in 87 patients uh, uh, which were included in this uh, study. And double head terrorism is a little difficult management problem. It's because of uh, uh, the large base clearal area to be covered. So you have various options available. Conjunctival autografting, we can take graft from superior and inferior bulbar conjunctiva and uh, uh, place uh, these grafts on the base clearal bed on either side. Or you can uh, take a split conjunctival autograft uh, with and without uh, limbal orientation. Uh, we have tried even without uh, limbal orientation, it works and uh, conjunctival tissue graft which I have already described uh, from the same pterygium can be used to cover the uh, same base scleral defect. So this is uh, a demonstration of a superior and inferior bulbar conjunctival graft. Uh, it's little difficult to obtain a graft from the inferior bulbar conjunctiva uh, but uh, can be taken. Uh, there is a tight adherence of uh, uh, tenons to the uh, conjunctival tissue there uh, inferiorly. And uh, uh, so this is another case uh, where I am demonstrating vertically split conjunctival autografting uh, uh, with the limbus to limbus orientation. If you have a large donor area uh, superiorly, you can split the graft into two parts and uh, you can still maintain the limbus to limbus orientation and uh, place the graft on the base clitoral bed. It uh, works very well uh, and uh, you can even split the graft uh, horizontally uh, if you uh, require if you have to resurface a large area uh, you can see here is a large defect on either side you can split the graft into two parts uh, horizontally and uh, place the graft i'm just taking a thin uh, limbal block of uh, tissue from the uh, peripheral cornea because the nasal uh, uh, pterygium was a recurrent pterygium. I thought uh, uh, including a thin block of limbal tissue will uh, uh, prevent uh, recurrence. Uh, of course, uh, there is not much difference between a simple conjunctival autograft and simple uh, limbal conjunctival autograft. Uh, another case is almost grade 3 uh, double head pterygium. Uh, uh, you have uh, a large uh, pterygium and a large basal defect to cover, uh, so your superior bulbar conjunctiva may not be sufficient. If you have amniotic membrane, it is ideal, uh, but if it is not available, uh, so you can split the graft uh, into two parts and without uh, uh, orientation, without limbus to limbus orientation, you can slide the graft down and uh, place it on the base clitoral bed without uh, if you see here uh, uh, this is the limbal end this is the cut end uh, even without uh, orientation you have to just create a, a barrier there uh, this uh, works i've been doing this uh, procedure for uh, quite some time now more than uh, seven years uh, with good results and even I have published it in uh, uh, IJO uh, and the results are uh, excellent with this technique uh, in double head pterygium. 90 cases have been uh, uh, operated and uh, the uh, we had 4 cases with the recurrence and another uh, uh, study was uh, uh, published in uh, OJO, Women Journal of Ophthalmology. And uh, recurrent pterygium, of course, is a difficult management problem. You have these options available, mitomycin C, conjunctival autografting, amniotic membrane transplantation, and uh, conjunctival limbal autograft. Mitomycin C, 0.02 to 0.04%. Uh, 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 sir, just any time is here. Okay, last I'll summarize. Uh, so, 0 0.02 and 0.04%. Being told, 7 minutes. We can Thank you. Okay. So, limbal conjunctival autograft versus MMC, both are equally effective in the management of uh, recurrent pterygium. And uh, there is no difference in the intraoperative and postoperative mitomycin C for recurrent pterygium. But uh, one should be prepared to handle these complications when they are using mitomycin C. Thank you very much. So thank you, sir, for the paucity of the time. Uh, we'll go to the next uh, next you. topic, sir. Thank you. Thank you.
I think even for primary pterygium, amniotic membrane has more recurrence than autograft. It's the another slightly factor more compared to conjunctival yeah. autografting. Uh, it's around 10% uh, uh, as compared to uh, conjunctival autografting where it is around 3 to 5%. Yeah, I think other than graft, the main uh, important factor for preventing